Second Life Bikes, you may have heard of us before. We were in the July issue of Family Circle Magazine this summer. So you may have picked us up um, at your doctor's office or at the checkout line or your great aunt's coffee table. Uh, what I've learned is after you're in Family Circle Magazine, the media floodgates open their doors to you. So shortly after, we were on CBS Evening News and the Today Show and CBS Sunday Morning. Uh, but in case you missed our 15 minutes of fame, let me tell you a little bit about us. I started this in a church garage in 2006. It was just a one afternoon a week bike program for kids. Uh, after many years and lots of hard work, I moved it into a cavernous space on Main Street in Asbury Park. So presently what it is, it's a youth earn a bike program and community bike shop. So kids ages 12 to 18 can come and work there. So they work towards a bicycle or parts for their bicycle or accessories. Um, they're learning mechanic skills and learning job and life skills. Uh, we also take them out on bike rides. Uh, the general public could also come and buy a bicycle from us. They can, um, they can get their bike repaired. They can use our tools. They can also partake in events and classes that happen in this, in this space. Uh, a few things have stayed with me over all these years, a few tools, a few workbenches. Uh, one thing that's also stayed with me is this billboard bike. Uh, back in the day, it was used as a way to tell people who we were. When we were known as the bike church, we used it for town parades and community bike rides. When we moved on to Main Street, it was parked outside, and it was just a way to people who knew who we were. It would just state plainly, Second Life Bikes. We had a big audience there, though, so I started to to use my imagination, and I took up the chalk and started to get a little creative. I started to change the signs, um, having to do with the change of seasons, the holidays. For example, it's springtime, stop and smell the bicycles. I mean, who doesn't love the smell of fresh tires? <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue, I love my bike more than you. <laughs> this is a Valentine's Day message I actually wouldn't recommend using, but we said it. St. Patrick's Day, don't ride your bike in a kilt, <laughs> even if the wind is at your back. <laughs> and some little more wardrobe advice for Labor Day. And one to honor our hardworking fathers. <laughs> the message has also changed with stuff that's happening out in the world, pop culture, culture events, news, like the exciting arrival of the Royal Bicycle this summer. <laughs> and the Powerball Lottery. I mean, we, we do welcome Powerball losers and non-gamblers into the shop, but we wanted to especially welcome any Powerball winners that may be out there. The NFL season. This is a, a, a gameplay. <laughs> this is a gameplay for those of us like me who don't quite get football. This is one we can understand. Shark Week. <laughs> Warning, they're, just, they're not just out for blood. They're out for your bicycle, too. And unofficial local polls voted number one bike shop on Main Street. Just don't ask by whom or how many bike shops there are on Main Street. So I've been changing these now on a weekly basis for, for two and a half years. And people love them. People get out of their cars and they take pictures of them. They take pictures with them. They come in and comment about them. They like them and post them and share them on social media sites. We actually um, get mail delivered some to us, that, to, our, uh, our, to our shop sometimes, that's meant for a convent in Ocean Grove. We have the same street address, just different towns. And when we go over there to give the nuns their mail, the first thing they always say is, oh, it's Second Light Bikes. We love what you do, and we love your signs. And, and they proceed to tell us some of their recent favorites. So people like these things and they talk about them, but you could also imagine that there's some amusing stories that go along with them. Like this one, the old folks home. We actually had some people show up at seven with their bingo gear. And this one disappointed a few people too, who felt like they missed out on a good deal the day prior. We believe in the resurrection of bicycles. We had this up for Easter. The nuns loved us. <laughs> but we did have one reverend come in, and he told me that the Bible says you cannot use the word resurrection in vain. 
But I told Tim, the other big important book, Webster's Dictionary, says that I can use the word resurrection, meaning to bring things back to life, which is what we do at Second Life Ranks. We bring bicycles back to life. He wasn't too happy with my retort, so he stormed out of the shop, and he called me that name that starts with the letter B. And it wasn't Bike Lady. <laughs> this one, too, gun control. Buy yourself a bicycle. It's almost as easy as buying yourself a gun. I, <laughs> I had a man tell me that, well, obviously I've never bought a gun in New Jersey because it actually is hard to do, supposedly. It takes a couple weeks. But I told him, has he ever really agonized over the purchase of a bicycle? The brand, the, what it's made of, the wheels, the saddle, the paint job. It could take months. It's agonizing. It isn't easy. The MTV Video Music Awards. This was one of our... This was one of our most liked um, billboard bikes. Not among Miley Cyrus fans, but among fans of ours. The end of the world is coming. <laughs> the end of the world is coming. You might as well be on a bicycle. It could actually prolong your life a little bit. <laughs> oh. Um, I had a dream a couple months ago, I should say a nightmare, but the city of Asbury Park told me that I had to shut down the billboard bike, that it was out of date, and I needed to get with modern times, and I needed to get one of these. I needed to get an electronic message board, which we're see seeing all over now. They're at schools and towns and businesses and town centers. Um, luckily, I woke up from this dream, because this is not what I would want in front of my shop. In fact, if I had to have one in front of my shop, I already know what the first message would say. It would go something like this. <laughs> that they're eyesores, and they aren't very charming and funny. There's something about the handwritten chalk that draws people in. They're curious about it. And it's all through a little bit of quaintness and comedy and a little bit of controversy also, not through harsh lights and bad graphics. Um. <laughs> um, all I really need to know I learned in a bike shop. So what have I learned about the evolution of the billboard bike and second light bikes? I learned that you can take nothing and make it into something. You can take an old dilapidated tricycle and give it stardom. You can take a program in a church garage and make it into a massive life impacting community center. You can take a bike that's destined for the landfill and get it to somebody who can get to a job on it. One one lesson or one person can change a kid's destiny, and all through, through chalk and wrenches. I'm also often asked, um, where do you come up with all this stuff? One man actually asked me, um, is, do, you have, do, you go, do you look in a book or something like that? I mean, I wish it was that easy. Um, I, I, it, it takes a while to, for them to come out. I, um, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a delicate balance of connecting and disconnecting. Obviously, I have to be connected because I have to know what's happening in the world. But it's also you have to disconnect, and I have to let my brain wander and let it go idle. And when it does, it amuses itself. <laughs> um, and you also have to let yourself wander. Some of my best ideas have been out on my bicycle. Some of my best ideas for growing Second Life bikes and the messages have been out there when my brain and my body is wandering. I normally don't share billboard bikes with people. I usually think about it on the weekends, and then I just roll it out on the first day of our week. But since you've been such a good audience and you've laughed in all the right places, <laughs> I'm going to share with you next week's billboard bike. <laughs> Thank you very much.